and above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. So please, oh please, we beg, we pray, go throw your TV set away, and in its place you can install, a lovely bookshelf on the wall. I have a passion for teaching kids to become readers, to become comfortable with a book, not daunted. Books shouldn't be daunting, they should be funny, exciting and wonderful, and learning to be a reader gives a terrific advantage. A person is a fool to become a writer. His only compensation is absolute freedom. He has no master except his own soul, and that, I am sure, is why he does it. When you grow up and have children of your own, do please remember something important, a stodgy parent is not fun at all. What a child wants, and deserves, is a parent who is sparky. When you're writing a book, it's rather like going on a very long walk, across valleys and mountains and things, and you get the first view of what you see and you write it down. Then you walk a bit further, maybe up onto the top of a hill, and you see something else. Then you write that and you go on like that, day after day, getting different views of the same landscape really. The highest mountain on the walk is obviously the end of the book, because it's got to be the best view of all. When everything comes together and you can look back and see that everything you've done all ties up. But it's a very, very long, slow process. There is no life I know, to compare with pure imagination. Living there, you'll be free if you truly wish to be. When you're old enough to write a book for children, by then you'll have become a grown-up and have lost all your jokiness. Unless you're an undeveloped adult and still have an enormous amount of childishness in you. If you are interested in something, no matter what it is, go at it at full speed ahead. Embrace it with both arms, hug it, love it and above all become passionate about it. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And thus the journey ended. But the travelers lived on. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more and have a great day.